To many of the residents in the northern United States and Canada, winter is their least favorite time of the year. The cold, the ice, and the snow are all things that people simply don't want to deal with. However, there are some of us that love this time of year for the fascinating bird species, the beautiful scenery, and even the inclement weather that it brings. Today, we are out in the first snowfall of the season looking for birds. Hey everyone, this is Ryan from Badgerland Birding and this is our first snowfall of the season. So we are going to go out on the Glacial Drumlin Trail and we're going to see how the birds are surviving in this winter weather and see if they're active and foraging and also what species we can find. So this is going to be a little bit of a challenge because as you can see there's a lot of snow falling so we're going to have to be careful about how we film not to ruin our gear but I think this is going to be a lot of fun birding in the inclement weather with the first snow making it look really pretty outside. The Glacial Drumlin Trail is a long bike and walking path that spans the southern part of the state, running from east to west. On this day, the snow blanketed every branch and leaf, turning it into a winter wonderland. Fortunately for us, plenty of different bird species were still out and about in spite of the weather. We've already had juncos, uh, white-breasted <laughs> nuthatch, goldfinch is flying over, a morning dove. A lot of the times when you get the snow, the birds are going to be out feeding because it's harder for them to find food. So they'll be like crammed under the bird feeder. Um, they'll be all on the branches. So it's actually a really good time to go see stuff if you can get out and do it safely. We continued through the snow, admiring the amazing look of a world covered in white, when suddenly we noticed a beautiful bird species that perfectly contrasted the snow. It's kind of crazy out here right now. There are large chunks of ice that fall off these branches and you can see in some of the videos that just every branch is coated with a layer of snow. Oh, and Cardinal, is... Cardinal. Northern Cardinals can be found in many of the northern states year-round, but it's in winter that the colors of the males really pop. Capturing a crisp image of a bright red Cardinal against a snowy backdrop is the stuff of dreams for many photographers, and we saw many males and females on the trail. For us, it was extremely fun to be able to experience these picturesque moments in real life. Just had a female cardinal come through. A lot of the times we'll see big groups of cardinals here on this bike trail. Um, males and females. Crow. Crow. What's funny about days like this is that humans, for the most part, are like, Ugh, I don't want to be outside in that. But the birds and other wildlife, they don't really have a choice in it. And furthermore, they don't really care. So we've seen a bunch of different bird species and some other animal species out foraging because they still need to eat and find food. So as Eric mentioned earlier, we're finding a lot of bird species congregating in areas with berries or probably we'll see some by bird feeders later too if we come upon some of those. We pressed on literally running into an interesting sight blocking our path. In this part of the trail you can really see how weighed down some of these branches are. Like if you were a biker you'd probably just run into those now. <laughs> but it's very cozy because these branches come right over the trail too. It's like they just got pulled way down because of the weight of the snow. And actually it's interesting because if you live in a cold weather climate, if a snow hits before the leaves all fall, that can actually damage a lot of trees because then the snow gets heavier because it clings onto the leaves and can pull whole branches down. So it's actually better for the trees if they drop all their leaves before you get the first snowfall. Clearly we didn't get the memo here, guys. Come on. All right, I'm gonna show you just how much snow is on this tree. Ooh. You sure you want to do this? Huh? Sure you want to do this? Sure, ready? Yep. <laughs> so wow. Clear. <laughs> it's probably breathing a sigh of relief after that. <laughs> That's crazy. After helping out the tree, we found an absolute gold mine for birding in winter, a bird feeder. Here we found many expected bird species for this time of the year, as well as one that isn't usually found here in the colder months. We just stopped to take a look at some feeders and we found a cool bird that probably shouldn't have migrated already, a yellow rumped warbler. So they'll normally eat mostly insects, but if it does get to winter like this, they will hop on a feeder. So that was a really cool find. Also had um, some more nuthatches, uh, house sparrows over here. There was a blue jay, a hairy woodpecker, and a couple morning doves too. So we're going to head back on the trail and keep going. Bird feeders can often be an epicenter of activity for many different species. But we also came upon another place that can be great for winter birding as well. A lot of the time birds will accumulate at bird feeders and at water. 
And so we're gonna be checking this water for waterfowl, especially on Lake Michigan when it starts to get iced over any little open pockets of water. That's where most of the birds will be, especially for some birds like mergansers where their feet are so far behind them they can't actually take off from land. So if that all freezes, they're kind of stuck. So open water is really important for birds and we're definitely gonna be checking some of this open water out. When lakes and ponds freeze up, waterfowl will congregate in any open water they can find. On this day, we saw many Canada geese flying over, undoubtedly trying to find open water, as well as a male mallard in the creek. We went a little bit farther until we heard some chirps in the bushes just off the trail. We just had a classic winter species, the American tree sparrow. Gave us really nice looks. They were kind of in the brush and then we did some pishing where we just went psh, 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 and then they came right up. Really awesome to see those. We also heard a kingfisher on the way um, over by the water. Well, we didn't see it, maybe we'll see it on the way back. We just heard it. But this is about as far as we're gonna go today. Now we're gonna head back and we'll see uh, if we can pick up anything new then. American tree sparrows can be identified by their rufous head stripe, grayish tan body, and distinctive dark spot on their chest. These birds move into the lower 48 states in winter and live in northern Canada and Alaska in summer. They can often be found in snowy fields, shrubs, and around bird feeders. We were excited to get the chance to see these winter sparrows out in the open. We began our trek back to the start of the trail. But before getting too far, we noticed a group of white-throated sparrows low to the ground, a species that usually migrates south, but some individuals can be found in the northern states in winter. For those of you that have never lived in a winter climate before or an area that gets a lot of snow, today it's warmer out, so we're getting what's called packing snow. So this snow is extremely malleable, and this is what you can easily make a snowman or a snowball out of. So when we were little, we used to have snowball fights in this kind of weather all the time because it's just so easy to scoop up in the snow and then just toss it at somebody. So the difference is that it's a little warmer, so it's got a lot of moisture in it. Yeah, the moisture, it's melting a little bit too, so it's really easy to form together. You see how easy it was to make the snowball. Should I hit something? Sure, you think you can? I don't know. I'll just toss it in the water. Oh, oh. That's okay. right. I'm filming you, I'm defenseless. <laughs> After messing around in the snow and finding more of the same species we had already seen, we concluded our wintry walk. We just got back to the start of the trail, which signals the end of our walk. We wrapped it up with a perched red-tailed hawk and some nice views of American goldfinches. So it was really fun coming out here and enjoying the snow and seeing some awesome birds. So if you're in a place with snow, don't be afraid to go out, see some birds, see what's around your neighborhood. Make sure you do it safely. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Some people have no desire to be out in the weather like snow and rain, but to us, these kinds of days are the most memorable. In addition to the unique experience of birding in the snow, it was truly special to be able to witness the beauty of nature and see the birds in the gorgeous scenery of this winter wonderland. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Mm -hmm.